Greetings you in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Will you please turn to Samuel chapter 11, verses 2 to 5? To Samuel chapter 11, verses 2 to 5. One evening, David got up from his bed and walked around on the roof of the palace. From the roof he saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful. And David sent someone to find out about her. The man said, Isn't this Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, and the wife of Uriah the Hittite? Then David sent messengers to get her. She came to him, and he slept with her. She had purified herself from her uncleanness. Then she went back home. The woman conceived and sent word to David, saying, I am pregnant. David was not led into temptation. He led himself into temptation. We face the temptations every day. How we uh, face uh, temptation is very, very, very important. Let me uh, share with you a story, a story of a, of a college girl who I met uh, some 30 years ago. Then I was serving at Holy Trinity Church in Madhugaja. One day as I was traveling in an express bus from uh, Madhugaja to Kuala Lumpur, this girl was sitting beside me. Once I introduced myself as a priest, she was very comfortable and uh, started to talk. It's a long journey from uh, Batugacha to uh, Kuala Lumpur. So as we were talking, uh, she said, uh, Father, can I share with you an uh, incident that took place in my life? I said to her, please go ahead. She said to her, when I first uh, entered college, I was invited by uh, my uh, roommate for a birthday function. She said to her, she had never been to a birthday function in Kuala Lumpur. Initially, she said she was a bit reluctant but her roommate, because her roommate uh, insisted that uh, she should go, she agreed. And uh, when she uh, went, uh, she said she had a culture shock. There, the room was just uh, full of our college students. They were eating and drinking alcohol. And of course, there were soft drinks. But she said that was a real culture shock for her. And then uh, after some time, they uh, started to uh, dance. So she said, uh, no, Father, I, I, I don't drink uh, alcohol. Uh, so I just sat there and I... Uh, after having my meal, I had some soft drinks. Of course, my uh, roommate came up to me and said, Hey, have some drink. I said, No. The later she came up and said, Hey, join us for the dance. I said, No. And then uh, they started to off the lights. And then uh, I just said, There. And then I heard my class uh, roommate coming up to me and saying, Hey, come. She took hold of my hand. She started to, she, she was literally uh, pestering me, forcing me to join in the dance. I said, No. 
I told my friend, I'm very sorry. Uh, please send me back to college right now. <laughs> so the girl said, uh, my friend was very angry and disappointed. And I said, no, send me back to the college. And very reluctantly, angrily, and, uh, her roommate sent her back to the college. I uh, congratulated her for the stand that she had taken. She was, she said, she was the only one who was sitting. All the others were dancing and uh, they were all uh, having fun. I congratulated her. Now, how we uh, respond to temptation? Now, in uh, 2 Samuel chapter 11, we are told that uh, David saw a woman bathing. David saw a woman bathing. And immediately we see the woman was very beautiful, which means that uh, David. David's mind was uh, focused on that woman who was bathing. And uh, he conceived that woman into his heart. And he must have uh, gone down to his uh, room and he must have uh, started uh, thinking about what he saw from the rooftop. So David uh, submitted himself to the temptation. The Bible uh, tells us uh, one of the best ways to resist the uh, temptation is by resisting it. Will you please turn to uh, change chapter 4. Verse 7. Here David says, Submit yourselves then to God. He says, Submit yourself then to God. In other words, Submit yourselves to the word of God. And he goes on to say, Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the devil and then he will flee from you. David could have resisted the temptation. David could have uh, gone down and got himself uh, occupied with the matters of the kingdom. But David did not resist the devil. David did not resist the temptation. He gave in to the temptation. There's a beautiful story in, the, uh, in, in Genesis. It's about uh, Joseph. I'll read for you from uh, Genesis chapter 39. Genesis uh, chapter 39, verse 7 onwards. And after a while, his master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, Come to bathe with me. In the case of uh, David and Bathsheba, Bathsheba did not tempt David. Bathsheba did not tempt David. It was David who led himself into temptation. Here, we are told that uh, the master's wife, she tempted her Joseph. She said, come to bed with me. Verse 8, but he refused. With me in charge, he told her, my master does not concern himself with anything in the house. Everything he owns, he has entrusted to my care. No one is greater in this house than I am. My master has withheld nothing from me except you. 
because you are his wife because you are his wife how then could i do such a wicked thing and sin against god so joseph was very clear the woman who was sat hinting him belonged to another man and uh, joseph was felt aware that uh, if he should give him he would be sinning not only against his master he will be sinning against god first day and though she spoke to joseph day after day day after day the woman was trying to tempt joseph she was trying to seduce joseph in the case of david we only looked at uh, bathsheba once and he fell into temptation here he was being uh, tempted day after day he was being uh, pressured by his master's wife to commit adultery with her to sleep with her day after day was uh, he refused despite of him being tempted he refused he resisted to go to bed with her or even be with her that's a beautiful that eh? even be with her because joseph knew <laughs> if he's going to be with her he's going to be tempted his master's wife is going to try to seduce him so he avoided her as much as possible if uh, adam and eve had avoided the tree of the knowledge and good of good and evil they would not have fallen into temptation if uh, david had avoided uh, contemplating thinking or what uh, he saw from his uh, rooftop he would not have fallen into temptation adam and eve spent time talking to her having a conversation with the serpent david spent time meditating on what he saw from his uh, rooftop but david but joseph he was not interested he was always busy with his work he said no i got no time for my master's wife because of what she was trying to do first the verse 11 one day he went into the house to attend to his duty and none of the household servants was inside she caught him by his cloak and said come to me with me but he left his cloak in her hand and ran out of the house and he ran out of the house i don't think uh, adam and eve uh, ran once when they were tempted they they start had a convert they had a conversation with serpent and then uh, they fell i don't think uh, david uh, when he saw bethsheba bathing he turned his face to another direction direction but from what we read he must have uh, enjoyed the view the scene but david ran he resisted now david is a good uh, joseph is a good example as to how we can overcome temptations now we must always be conscious that when we commit sin we are not only committing sin against those whom we are committing we are also committing sin against god and to we must uh, avoid as i said in my sharing yesterday avoid places where we know that uh, we may be tempted to commit sin or even uh, the company of friends or relations who may lead us into committing sins if we know 
In the case of Dave, uh, Joseph, he read. If you know that uh, in a, if we, are, if we are in a place where we may be uh, tempted, we must just uh, live. Like the young college girl who said, I'm leaving. Joseph left. So you must live. Learn to live. Leave the place. Learn to leave the people who are sometimes can be uh, the cause of our temptations. Learn to resist the devil. Learn to resist. Learn to flee from him. And for you to do that, you must submit yourself daily to God through the reading of His Word, through your daily devotion. Asking God to strengthen you, to walk in accordance to His Word. So, let me uh, conclude this sharing from uh, James 4, verse uh, 7. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.